Welcome to lesson 3 Android Canvas game. So lesson 3 will be a lesson about working with multiple sprites. So um, before proceed you have to download and zip and run project lesson 3 to start zip. This lesson is basically um, based on lesson 1 and 2. Plus I made one modification. Uh, since each sprite has its own position, speed and orientation moving, I created a separate class sprite. So the separate class sprite actually uh, the main modification after lesson 2. You have to study uh, the content of sprite class before proceed. So if you uh, move back to the project lesson 3 to start, the content of class sprite uh, pretty self-explanatory. Class sprite has uh, Private variables describe x, y coordinates and x, y speed. It has a reference to game view and single bitmap. It has a constructor, except a game view bitmap. And it has a simple uh, boundaries collision check. So we check collision for east-west direction and we check collision for north-south direction. Just simply checking how far is uh, x uh, coordinates from a game view width uh, and uh, y coordinates from uh, game view height. And according to this, we uh, change uh, direction of speed. In this case, uh, you see the bouncing effect. And finally, we have on draw method that just simply update coordinates according to the uh, boundaries collision. Uh, we draw in the white color board and draw in bitmap a position x and y. Run the project before proceed. So we have a single bitmap right now uh, that running, and we see that bitmap is bouncing from left to right, from top to bottom. And our task will be today to have a multiple sprites uh, for this application. So let's exit this application right now, and moving to updates. In game view Java, we have a single sprite as a private sprite variable. Then in game view constructor, we have uh, this variable at the variant initialize with a PMP uh, from Rodrobo folder. And sprite created by using sprite constructor with parameters. One sprite parameter is this, like a uh, game view, and BMP is a single bitmap. And finally we draw the single bitmap on the screen using canvas. So if you want to draw here right now the multiple sprites, multiple bitmaps, and we're going to create right now the method that will be create a single sprite based on the bitmap. Because we, we don't want to write these lines so many times, right? We want to write a method right now. Uh, what is the signature of this method? That's a private sprite create sprite method that has uh, one parameter, a resource. The in resource actually this is the integer value for the resource from R Java. So we will actually use an uh, R dot drawable dot name, which will corresponds to the integer resource from the uh, resource file. And based on this resource, we create a new bitmap variable, and we using the same method bitmap factory decode resource, and we return new sprite based on the current view and current BMP. So I remind you, this is a sprite uh, constructor that we create in the sprite class. So that constructor that actually create one single sprite. All right, so this is the method we'll be using for creating sprites. So we're going to create a list of sprites. So just going on the top and instead of one single sprite that we had before, so we will delete this single sprite, we will create a list of sprites. And because we use an array list in this case, we might need to uh, import right library uh, by pressing Alt Enter. And another thing, we have to resolve this problem with the list variable and also press the same combination, Alt-Enter, and then 
both libraries will be imported. So we want to create a sprites, dynamic list of sprites, and the name of the list will be sprites, like a plural name that will be distinguished between single sprites and multiple sprites. So right now we are moving to the end of the constructor of uh, game view, and um, since we do not have single sprite anymore, so we have to uh, delete this line. So the first one will be, uh, for example, add the sprite element to array list will be sprites dot add create sprite, and uh, in resource we have the same uh, or r dot drawable green resource name. So I can copy this line five more times. So there's not any conflicts with this because you know we're using a array list. So I need to create another six uh, sprites that are different from uh, from the current green. So I, what I will do is I will check the name of another drawable sprite. It has a name player PNG. So I would use six player PNG sprites. So I will just write it here, player, and copy this line five more times. It looks like we have uh, 12 elements of the array. All right, so we probably not using uh, this BMP anymore, right? So we can delete this. And now we have to update on draw method. So we're not drawing sprites anymore, right? So we don't have a sprite. We need to draw elements from array list. So I would use here the loop. So the for loop works as the following. So the for, for the sprites, sprite from the sprite type that belong to the sprite array, we're taking every elements and using on draw method using the current canvas. And uh, now we can try to run the code and we're expecting to see right now 12 sprites. So please uh, press button to run. So we launch an activity right now and we see only one sprite. So how to can explain this? We have so many sprites I don't know any idea what happened. I want to do some debugging and I want to introduce how to use logcat for my method. I will be inserting a log D fragment and I want to type sprite as a key of the log D message. And I would like to see what is a sprite index in this case. So what is what element is drawing currently in the screen. So let's run this project again and uh, and see what's happened. And finally, we can observe how the debugging works. So I just uh, running right now the code and I see that results of my debugging messages. So the sprite i is uh, going from zero to eleven, which means like all of the sprites are really here on this stage, but. Uh, for some reason I don't see them. So basically as a result we need to see the sprites starting from different locations and have a different speed and moving in different directions. So individual working class as we run the project we notice not all sprites are visible on the stage. Why? Modify the code so all sprites will start from different starting points with different speed having various behavior. Show demo in class before online submission. That's all for this video. Thanks a lot.